In this presentation, we will discuss an advantage and a disadvantage of recursion. So let's get started. Which path should I follow? Should I follow an iterative path or should I follow a recursive path? Now let me tell you my dear friends why I'm asking this question. Every recursive program can be written as iterative program. This means whatever we can write with recursion, we can also write with iteration. Now the natural question that arises is that which path should I follow? Should I write a iterative version of a program or should I write a recursive version of the program? This is quite natural to ask this question. In order to address this question, we will consider an advantage and a disadvantage of recursive program over iterative program so that we can understand while writing code which path we should follow. Okay. Every recursive program can be modeled into an iterative program, but recursive programs are more elegant and requires relatively less lines of code. We already know recursive program can be modeled into iterative program, right? And this is also very important to understand that recursive programs are more elegant and definitely they require less lines of code. Let me give you one example in order to understand this advantage. We need to write a program to calculate factorial of a number. And here I will mention both iterative as well as recursive version of the program. Here is the iterative version of a program to calculate factorial of a number. As you can see inside this function, I have declared one variable res, res, which actually represents result. It is initialized to value 1. After that we have a while loop and this while loop runs until n is not equals to 0. Okay. And inside this while loop you can see res is equals to res into n and then after that we are decrementing the value of n. You can easily see this will calculate the factorial of n. Right. And then after that we are simply returning the result back to the main function and we print whatever will be the result of factorial of pi. Okay. This is the iterative version of factorial of a number. Now let me write the recursive version of this program. Here is the recursive version of this program which we have already seen. Here you can see we can replace this whole code with just a single line of code. As you can clearly see relatively less lines of codes are required in recursive version of the program in comparison with iterative version of the program. Right. Therefore, whenever you want to write clean, elegant looking code, then you should prefer recursive programs over iterative programs. Okay. Now, after considering the advantage of recursion, it's time to consider the disadvantage of recursion. What is the disadvantage of recursion? Recursive programs require more space than iterative programs. This is very important to understand. It requires more space. I'm talking about stack space. Let's see why it requires more space. As you can see, it just requires two activation records to be stored inside the stack. First for the main function, because execution starts from the main function. And then after that, as you are calling factorial of five, this means the activation record of this function will also get stored inside the stack. Apart from this, as you can see, there are no function calls, right? There are only two function calls. One is for the main and another one is for Rest is just a loop we have to follow. After completion of this factorial function, it will simply return the value back to the main function and it will get printed on the screen. That's it. Therefore, just two activation records will get stored inside the stack. Hence requires less space. On the other hand, if I talk about the recursive version of this program, then it requires total six activation records to be stored inside the stack because we are first calling the main function then fact of 5, then fact of 4, fact of 3, fact of 2, fact of 1, and then we are simply returning back, right? So you can clearly observe that recursive program requires more stack space in comparison to iterative programs. Now you know whenever you are short in memory, then you should prefer iterative programs over recursive programs. Now again I'm asking this question, which path should I follow? Let me answer this question. That depends. If you want your code to be more elegant and easy to understand, then recursive path you can follow. And if you want your code to be more efficient in terms of space, then you should follow the iterative path. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.